Okay, now we're going to look at the male perineum. Here again is the area between the anus and the external genitalia, very similar to the female perineum. First we have the bulbosponginosus muscle. Bulbosponginosus does not have an opening in the male like it does in the female. It is, however, contiguous with the, the corpus sponginosum on the underside of the penis. And then right here, we have the ischiocavernosus muscles. That becomes contiguous with the corpus cavernosum in the penis. Then we have the external anal sphincter. Then we're gonna remove these muscles Remove the membrane. And then I'm going to take out these vessels. Okay, then we have our levator ani muscle, which makes up the bottom of the pelvic floor. Then we'll have our corpus cavernosum right there, mentioned earlier. Sorry. Then we have our superficial transverse perineal muscles, and then we have our perineal body just like we do in the females. This area will also, just like I showed you with the female, you'll have the uh, pudendal nerve and the internal pudendal artery and vein passing through this area, making a dorsal nerve of the penis and posterior scrotal nerves, as well as posterior scrotal arteries.